Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where you get to see amazing UI UX content every Monday and Thursday. So today we're looking at the hottest design inspiration for 2022. Some really cool resources and tools that will help you get the best inspiration for your next design projects, for UX research, for usability testing and so much more. So without further ado, let's just get started with this video. Before we begin, our design school designwings.in is hosting another batch in February. So if you want to join and if you want to get placed in amazing companies, then make sure that you join designwings.in today. So the first website we're looking at is called reallygoodux.io. So simple. So it basically shows you really good examples of user experience done right across organizations. So for example, pixel tips make it easy to find new features. Basically an app made by Google for Android 12 that allows its users to find different features on their phone and see how to use their phone properly. So you have all the different screens that you find on the page. There's also a nice description about the history of the application, how it was formed, what, what is the process behind the design, etc. So little mini case studies that are on this website, which can be super useful for you guys. Telegram share their new features in a novel way. Again, a certain new feature that was introduced into Telegram in the form of a little case study and at the end they give the pointers on why this was a good user experience choice. Also they have something called categories. So you can see amongst these categories what you'd like to see. For example, say models, so model views. So all these examples you'll see and you'll be able to see the different model views as you can see right here. So I think this is an exceptional, exceptionally good way of learning about UX design changes, how a change is made and why it is made and why it is beneficial to the users. So honestly, one of the most beautiful looking books in UX design till date is called Fundamentals of Creating a Great UI UX. This is by a very uh, well-known platform called Creative Tim. And as you can see, they have some really good credibility. They also give you a brief about what the book is all about. This was really pop popular on product Product hunt and that is where I first saw this but once I went through it I can see why this would be a valuable addition to your already existing UX books collection they also have a bunch of they also have a bunch of testimonials from different companies and founders and designers I know this is a little expensive especially for a country like India however if you're a business owner or you really want to get a book that will cover every little thing about creating a good or designing a good product you can check it out or if you're just a student you want to get it uh, you want to get some information from this you can just check out the free preview just by giving your email address and they send a free preview of the book in your email so you can read through it oh this is one of the most fun websites i've seen in a while so basically what happens is if for example github I want to see the history of its design. I want to see how design evolved for GitHub. You can just go through this. Each web page is completely posted as a screenshot from say 2008, you move on to 2009 and you can see how every year GitHub has changed a little bit. And when there's no change, they say no change. If, if I keep on scrolling down, I will go to 2020, which I believe is the last year they're really truly updated and looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, here it is 2020 and 2021 to be exact, where the world builds software. And this is the latest update. Of course, in 2022, you will be seeing a little more updates here as well. So hopefully the person who's managing this will keep on updating year after year. It's crazy to see when I first started using Dribble, this is how it used to look. And then it has come to a point where it looks very modern and, and chic, to be honest. All these names are absolutely perfect and spot on. UXarchive.com, I first of all love this little alpaca or sheep or whatever it is supposed to be. The world's largest library of mobile user flows. The unique thing about this website is how each flow is in order. So for example, you log into say YouTube music and this is how the flow works for you. So if I want to showcase say logging out, so it'll even show you log out flows or drop off flows for all these various companies, Fetch Rewards, GitHub, Zola, Pocket, Busu, Delivery.com, Duolingo, you'll see all these amazing resources and assets on this website. You can even do a straight up search or you can just check out all these amazing examples under search as well. Now to share the flow or to download the flow, you'll have to sign up and log in. 
I think that is not bad of a deal if you just want to download these flows and keep it in a folder to check later on for an inspiration. It's a great website, it's free of cost, so why not check it out? So Adit Gupta has created this really cool asset called User or UX Assist. Now UX Assist provides workflows for designers. So how does a designer go from researching an idea to designing an idea? You will see everything around it. And the best part is it's an actual mobile application. Yes, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can download it and you can see each user flow in this really cool uh, list form or this interactive card form as well. I really love how he's uh, implemented this and it has a small price tag of $3, but I think $3 is nothing for such an incredible application that maybe even you can suggest to your teammates, etc. Nice, very nice. <laughs> Niceverynice.com is, again, as they say, the finest collection of UI UX design components, patterns, etc. It's essentially like Dribble, but these are real websites which are working right now and they are based on different patterns and neither do they have it here on the full page. So these are basically for patterns. And of course, if you want to see the entire web page, you can go to this link here and it shows you the entire web page that you can check out from here. I think this is really cool. And you can search for or, you know, go through different patterns by uh, going to this section right here. So for example, I'm designing a blog. I want certain blogs only. So I'll be able to see blog sections for different websites and how they have implemented all these articles, etc. Another great part is that you can save to Pinterest. So it will be available on your Pinterest boards as well. Nice, very nice has different sections on top. Inspire where we are currently, that is called Inspire. Learn, learning is a section where uh, they have a lot of different material, resources, and videos for learning certain tools. Design is services that they are providing to you. Uh, they create email newsletters, etc. And they also have all the, all the assets and resources that they use, where they take assets and inspiration from, etc. I think this is a great resource all in all. Niceverynice.com is very nice indeed. Do you know Maze has a very special resource called Maze Question Bank. This is a guide to create great questionnaires, forms, and all in all, just conduct great user research, as well as to test out things using maze or just in general any tool they have divided it into all these different questions what do you like about the product then you can see the tags under it then you can see what scenario it has then you can see you can uh, the maze block type so you can use a certain maze resource to get these things done as well and you also have templates that are ready made for you guys so it's a complete resource along with how and what you can use inside Maze to get this started off. As you can see, there are 397, yep, 390 questions that you can pick from for any product. It, it varies across different products and services, and they have also kind of tagged everything as product or feature or a task. I believe this is one of the most crucial assets, like a cheat sheet or a, basically a hack for user researchers all over the world today. And I think you should also check it out. They of course keep this updated because it's a point of their company and they also sell their maze.com templates here as well. A lot of these, some of these templates will be free, some will be paid. So do check that out. Otherwise you can always just see what kind of questions are best asked, what do they intend and all the tags under that. So lemon.io, 127 websites to show off your design. It basically collects all the resources where you can post your design work or see other people's designs. So for example, you have free to submit. So all these websites that you can see here, for example, Cart Craze, uh, is basically e-commerce design websites, etc. You'll be able to submit your e-commerce website designs, etc. and see more inspiration for e-commerce itself. The list is almost never ending because it's 127. You can select multiple right here. Of course, here you can see you can submit for money as well. So if you want an exclusive play platform where you need to pay to submit and to have your designs portrayed there, I think that'll be a cool resource too. You have all the awards, logo designs, as well as socials. 
So if you are a fan of Behance and Dribble, it's cool. Or you can see all the other amazing resources like Dribble and Behance that you can check out on a daily basis. All the different designs that, uh, all the different inspiration websites basically put in one place where you can even submit your own resources. Now I want to show you two resources which I've used and it's been very useful to, to me personally. The first resource is called Behance.net slash live. I see that not enough people are using this platform as of now, but this is a powerhouse for designers. It's, it's as if Twitch and YouTube had a baby, but at the same time, it was just designers. So basically you have all these different resources under different categories, graphic design, Photoshop, Illustrator, photography, UI UX as well. You can see a lot of popular faces on this platform and all of these are live. They're generally done live. And if you have, you know, set up a timer or you subscribe to that person, but if you want one platform where it's only UI UX, I think you should go to platforms like this. And these are full fledged tutorials. So they're not, they're not just design news. They're not just all that. It's much more than that. I want to share a really quick trick to be able to get inspiration from your favorite design creators. And it's not just Twitter. If you go to Twitter and you search for someone like Amrit, Amrit Pal Design, okay? Uh, who is Amrit Pal Singh? He is the creator of Toy Faces. Now, a lot of these design influencers and creators will have something called newsletter on Twitter. So all you need to do is say start reading or subscribe. You'll see one of those buttons and you can go ahead and subscribe to their newsletters, oftentimes hosted on a platform like Get Review. Another designer named Akash Sulanki is pretty popular on the LinkedIn influencer chart. He has his own very expansive newsletter, which is very, you know, uh, highly subscribed, 2000 subscribers as of now and growing. So you can just subscribe through Twitter. That's as simple as that. As for some, you might have, might be taken to another website or web page, but so any designer you like, I'm sure either at least one or two of those will have your favorite newsletter, your next favorite newsletter, at least. So those were some of the resources that are dug up this year. If you have any suggestions or anything, you can post that in the comments below. I come onto this channel every Monday and Thursday. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you also click the bell icon. Otherwise there are chances you'll miss my content. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday. Take care till then. See you later. God bless.